killing me, Smalls. First and foremost, those of you that don't have discernment, I feel sorry for you. Those of you that think you do and you're calling True Hope or a liar, guess what? You don't have discernment. Guess what? I do. I can spot a liar from a mile away. But one thing I just witnessed. I didn't get to see this live. If I did, I probably would have went live myself. But I wanna speak on this. And I'm gonna call you out. Amber K, don't appreciate you spreading lies. Right here, Let's see if I can zoom in on this. Ask him why he threatened Kay's life. Okay. He threatened someone's life. Amber Kay's got something for you if you didn't see. Let's see. Amber Kay, he threatened Critical Kay? What? She has the clip. He threatened Critical K's life, what? Have any of you all ever listened to someone use a voice changer? It can make somebody sound just like somebody else just saying. But let's get to this. Critical K and where she says it's at who threatened Critical K? Oh my gosh. You know, you put something out in the universe like this when you're not 100% sure of who it is or who it was towards. Amber K, I think you deserve to apologize to True Helper. And there's a reason why. She says where it's at. So I wanted to go listen for myself. And, you know, they say that when you tell somebody something and say that person goes to 15 other people and by the time those, say, three or four words get to the 15th person, it's completely different than when it started with the first person. Nee says, are you all confusing True Helper with Truth and Magoo regarding Critical K? Um, I talk to True Helper all the time. I am also one of those people that can hand my phone over to my spouse at any given time. Nothing to hide. Okay, Amber K says, K stream five days ago, January 3rd, titled V, Great Minds Discuss Ideas at the 25 minute mark. Well, it's not right at the 25 minute mark, but if you go to the 25 minute mark and you listen, you hear the call. You also hear the other calls after that. Critical K is actually playing voicemails that were left for Kelly Long in the Kelly Long case. They weren't directed towards Critical K. So Amber K, before you put something out in the universe, you might want to make sure you have it right. Another thing. I'm listening to this live and Smokey, I'm telling you what, bud, I'm pretty upset. I'm pretty upset. Not only at you, but I seen when Tawanda put it in chat that True Helper had got shot. I seen what you said. You did say, what now? Am I not the only one as if you were upset? You. And I know you open up to people. I know you have a big heart. I know this about you, Smokey. 
but you also allow others to walk over you, ridicule you, and you're very easy forgiving. I'm guilty of it too. But True Helper has done nothing but help people. He's not manipulated people. And if you feel manipulated, I'm sorry. But I will tell you this. I am at one hour, 43 minutes and 35 seconds into the stream. I hope that you all can come to some resolution because right now I'm pretty upset. I might not even upload all of this, but I'm gonna continue listening. And if I need to speak on it again later, I will. Are you kidding me, Ash274? I'm sorry, Ass247 says Truth Magoo sounds a lot like Truth Helper. No, they don't. I've heard Truthy Magoo sounds nothing like True Helper. And if you, you all couldn't hear that that guy on that voicemail had a little bit of an accent, you could tell that that's not True Helper. Let's go ahead and listen. She's going to play it again. I'll mute. I'll mute. Absolutely. Um, please. Please. All right. You guys second. crack me up. Contents of these voicemails are horrifying and may be triggering. But let's listen. Hey, this message is for Kelly. I think I got the right number, but I want to let you know if this is Kelly's phone, I am in Houston, Texas right now. I just flew in last night just for you and your sick ass boyfriend. I am coming for you too. And the things I'm going to do to you, you thought Sophie squealed in that car, I'm going to make you two squeal really good. The way he said the word car, that's more of like a Chicago type accent. Up north, that's not true helper. So you better hope I can't find you, but I already know where you guys are at. Number two. You are okay. Well, we lost him again. I personally don't think that that's him at all. And I've spoken to just, him friends. Do you think that's him it's smoking? Just a shame. It's a shame you, that do you think that that's him smoking. Considered to be, I don't know, man. Mm -hmm. I can't hear it real good. I'll tell you really? what, that is ridiculous. And that, again, as I just got done saying, whoever makes those kinds of threats to another person, I don't even know where that's. You really think with that distinct voice that True Helper has, he would even call and leave a voicemail like that? Especially with the type of work that he does. I know for a fact True Helper would not speak to a woman like that. I would hope that none of you all would ever be picked for a jury. God help you all. Y'all are deaf, dumb, and blind if you can't tell that's him. I don't think it's him, honestly, but it's creepy as shit. Thank you. That's the first thing that I've seen come out of Ash274's mouth that has any validity to it. And your friend HS there... If it's not him, find a way to prove it. I proved 180 and Bad Wolf weren't the same. Okay, yeah. I Speech patterns the same. No, it's not. Thank God you all don't do voice analysis. Oh my God. Stems from first and foremost, and not that I have to prove myself, but I, I think I... Oh, and, and uh, Laura is like, oh. Look, he, he, he upped his voice. So what, that it didn't sound like that call? That doesn't sound anything like him. Yeah, it's a little lower pitch tone, 
But if you all can't hear the accent that's in that voicemail, then something's wrong with your ears. I think you all are deaf. I was able, I think I knocked myself off because I did switch over to, to chat on the phone. But of course it messed up. Uh, I, I seen somebody talking about different voices and all that stuff. You know what? I, I, like everybody else, I do have different tones and I do get fired up and I do have a, a, a late night calm down and all that good stuff. But again, it goes down to the fact that not one person can ever say when they've dealt with me that I have ever exhibited any kind of violent or erratic behavior to say that I was going to go ahead and go after somebody. And again, as I just got done saying earlier, any person that would threaten a woman like that, again, in my book, is a piece of garbage. Say what you want to about, say, a woman that might be dragging on you or throwing you under the bus or whatever it is. Okay, you know what? Whatever you got to do, whatever makes you feel better at the end of the day. But to even assume or, or try to make a connection there, that's disgusting. Come on. Hey, you know what? That is that you're really whipping yourself up into a tizzy over that one. And not to mention Houston, really? Yeah, <laughs> not happening. All right, man. Well, um, I'm done, bro. I, I've, I've laid it out there. I Smokey P, you, you've done proven that you're not trustworthy. You do try to put words in people's mouths. Actually, I called you out on that on Whiskey Gypsy's panel one time in a chat. I typed in chat. You spoke on panel something completely different, and I called you out on it. Made you correct it. You have been known to do that. I love you, Smokey, but you're wrong on all this. And all of you all that are following this, that True Helper is some way manipulating people, can you all just not think that there's good people out there and I, I'm sorry but I think True Helper should write a freaking book I don't know what he is I don't know what his name is I don't care I haven't asked what his name is his name could be Santa Claus for all I freaking care don't need it don't want to know it don't need to know his personal life don't care to know it none of my business but I will tell you one thing the man's been nothing but kind and respectful towards me and my friends. I can't say the same for a lot of you in chat. Smokey, I'm very upset. No, you're not the only one that he's helped. I saw you type that as soon as Tawanda said he had gotten shot. I saw you type it. And as soon as I seen it, I was like, damn. Jelly much? If I helped find a missing kid, I wouldn't want the glory or the uh, notoriety for it or whatever you call it, Laura. OMG, no one would who rescued kids and found them would be secret. OMG, you are such a damn liar. Not everybody thinks like you, Laura. Gosh, you've got a 24 karat gold mind. In other words, you're saying if you helped find a missing kid, you would want a reward and you'd want to be known and you'd want that glory and you'd want that popularity. Not everybody cares about that crap. guilt for something you did. The most obvious reason to feel guilty is that you actually did something wrong. This type of guilt may involve harm to others, such as causing someone physical or psychological pain. You may also feel guilty because you violated your own ethical or moral code, such as by cheating, lying, or stealing. Guilt over your own behavior can also be caused by doing something you swore you would never do again, such as smoking, drinking, or overeating. In each of these cases, there's no doubt that the behavior occurred. It's appropriate to feel guilty when you've done something wrong. 
Feeling the emotion of guilt for an action deserving of remorse is normal. To not feel guilty in these cases may be a sign of psychopathy. The problems occur when you ruminate over this guilt. It is better to accept the fact that it happened, apologize to the person or persons you harmed, and then figure out how to avoid committing the same act in the future. If you violated your own personal standards, such as through overuse of alcohol or cheating on your partner, you can best avoid straying in the future by seeking support from others who can help you to keep on the up and up. And then also that guilt in turn causes you to make the assumption or other people think the assumption that that other person that has helped you is in fact doing the same thing that you are in turn doing. Might wanna think about that. Much love you all. God bless.